That's 26 elementary schools in South Carolina, and that's too much. That's how many children are faced with abuse in this state each year. And the communications officer for Children's Trust of South Carolina says that's how many children her agency offers support to every year. We have to then work with families. I mean, at some point you have to think about prevention and working upstream. How do we stop this from happening in the first place? And then the next thing is for the families that have experienced, how do we wrap around them and help them heal? Prosecutors are able to work with the agency on these critical cases, giving them access to forensic interviews, medical exams, and mental health therapy, allowing them to determine what happened to the child. The most common form of child abuse last year reported at children's advocacy centers was sexual abuse. Uh, but then there was a lot of physical abuse and major neglect as well. Sometimes children are very young and they don't know how to articulate the harm that was done to them. People train to communicate with children to get the information that prosecutors need to get a conviction in a court of law. Attorney General Alan Wilson says centers like these need more funding from the federal government and in the meantime, he is asking state lawmakers to set aside more money in the state budget to keep places like this running. Once these victim services providers shutter their doors and the people spread out, it's almost impossible to reopen them. And those services go away forever. In Columbia, I'm Joey Matei, Watch Fox News, Local First.